It's Wednesday, time for our weekly trip to the new zoo. Neil Anderson joins us live from Swamico this morning. Hi, Neil. Hey, good morning. Well, we got a little bit of an announcement today with our cotton top tamarins, but first I got to show you. You know, a lot of people, when you're thinking about the zoo and the animals, you know, and the medical care that they have, and but you also got to remember the record keeping that is done. Check these files out. Now, that's just a wow. file on each one of these guys. Now, these files will travel from zoo to zoo as they come in, uh, like just like our burrowing owl that we talked about earlier. And then this not only is a paper file, you know, very similar to what your, what your doctor would have. It has both uh, medical and behavioral information in here. Um, in addition to that, this is all on the computer as well. And it goes into a computer database uh, that's connected to all the zoos, that all the accredited zoos and other zoos that are really around the world. So we have access to all that information. Now, looking over here, you can take a look at This is Bonnie and Clyde. They're both nine years old. Uh, Clyde came in uh, from San Antonio, and Bonnie came in from the St. Augustine uh, alligator farm. She was down there. And one of the things that we were looking at, these guys are highly endangered. And you know they were listed as endangered, and, and they're from Colombia, and there's probably maybe between two and 3,000 left in the world. Now what happened before 1973 is they were brought into the country there was probably uh, between 20 and 30,000 of these little guys were collected. And they were collected and brought here for biomedical research. And the reason being is that they spontaneously will, in captivity, develop colon cancer. Hmm. And that's something that uh, they, they believe they are, uh, you know, like say, uh, they have a genetic predisp predisposition uh, to that. Uh, so they've been uh, studied and, and, and studied a lot on this and you know when you take a look at anything from you know Crohn's disease and colon cancer and colitis and everything uh, these have been uh, important animals here that uh, uh, studies have been done to, to take a look at uh, their physiology and maybe how it relates to us of course the, you know these are non-human primates but now one of the interesting things though that we just got approved for is Bonnie had a birth control implant in uh, because she wasn't, uh, uh, they didn't want her to breed yet. Well, we just got approval for that and about two weeks ago, her birth control implant was removed. And uh, now we're hoping that, you know, down the road, maybe in a few months, uh, she'll be, become uh, reproductively active and uh, we'll have uh, a couple little ones down the road. So we're really excited about it because it's part of an endangered species program as well. Yeah, and they certainly are cute to look at. That Can't they imagine are. a little baby. Yes, they are, aren't they? All right, Neil, we'll check back in with you later. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, sounds good.